Do you remember? You were just learning to read. You thought that girl was downright annoying, talking to you about me all the time. <laughs> Especially when all you wanted to do was finish those stories of yours. I needed you to hear that though. I needed you to hear that I was there. I needed you to hear my story. And I needed you to hear that I love you. Do you remember those days you fought against everyone and everything? But even when you raged, when you were against me and even though you didn't know me, I used those days for a better purpose. It was a trying time for your parents, for sure. They are imperfect and fragile too. Maybe there are still some loose ends in your hearts. When you looked back on those years later, though this time from perspective of a parent, how much more would you realize that parenting is something that parents cannot do alone? You were that much more willing to ask for grace and strength and healing. settle for one that's not the best for you. I promise it will be one that will also bring me glory and advance my kingdom. You tried to fill your desires with fleeting things. You turned to studying, then playing, and making a lot of friends. These were all good, but it didn't satisfy the desire that you had. You have a desire which no experience in this world can satisfy. It's because you were made for another world. You thought you were just wondering, but I was leading you to me. I revealed myself to you through the girl on the playground, and on that day, you finally believed in me. You had finally found your desire, and I have loved you always. Since that day, you have stumbled and lost sight of me often, but I never lost sight of you, and I've always kept you. I told you I would provide for you. I keep my promises. No, 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 no. I'll listen. I have something else in mind. Please bear with me here. I know what I'm doing.
to paint you a picture of how much I care for you. How much you love your children. And think of how much more I love you and them. Your wife is home now. I know it hurts, but I will comfort you. She accepted the gift of salvation and told you you could be at peace, knowing you will meet her again. For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in a future.